So today we're gonna take this and turn it into this. Now, we have this filament here. I'm gonna run this to our good friend Dave. He has an army of bamboo printers. We are gonna print this out and build this in just one day. Now, I heard this plane builds fast, but it also flies even faster. All right, guys, so one of the most important things about making an Eclipse and plane is printing it. And thank you to Bamboo Lab. We've got a mountain of 3D printers behind us. So I've got most of the wing panels already printed. I'm gonna hand them off to Michael so he can start building, and I'm gonna get back to the rest of the stuff. I'll come back in a little bit and show you how it's done. I got a surprise task from David, and he handed me all these 3D printed parts and uh, showed me a build video online and said, you're gonna be building the Eclipse and Spark. So that's what I'm going ahead and start doing. This is my first ever 3D printer plane build, or 3D printed plane build. So hopefully it turns out good. Who knows? I'm hoping for the best here, but we'll see how it gets done. So the first step's gonna be getting the wings assembled, getting some stuff going on in there. And uh, I was test fitting some of the pieces just to kind of get a game plan before I go into it. I'm so not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because 3D print is not what I'm used to working with, but we'll get it done and hopefully it'll go well. All right, so Michael's out there working. I'm gonna get ready to start printing the fuselage here. And one of the most important things with our bamboo labs is we have our smooth beds, so glue sticks are very important. What I'm gonna do is put some glue down on the bed here, and then we're gonna start printing our next piece. And I do this probably every, uh, I don't know, seven or eight prints or so. And in between then, I just take some uh, rubbing alcohol and wipe the bed down real quick just to retack the glue stick. And then we're all set. We're gonna hop over here on the computer and print the next piece. So one of the really cool things that Eclipson has to offer now is they have profiles already set up for Bamboo Lab. All you have to do is a little bit of calibration and then you pull up your lightweight PLA settings or regular PLA or PLA plus, whatever you have to print. And it pops up like this, which basically they have everything set up on its own plates, ready to go. All you have to do is click print and it'll send it right over to the printer and it'll get going. Currently I'm just looking over everything to make sure it's on the right printer, the right plate, the nozzle's right, standard flow, PLA arrow. So now I'm just gonna go to preview, look at it, the print, make sure everything looks good there. Now that I've got this uh, plate loaded up here, I'm just gonna click on print, go to whichever printer we wanna send it to, in this case, I'm going to number one, and it already pops up that I've got arrow in number three and number four spot on my AMS. I'm gonna print this one in yellow, and then we're just gonna send it. And it's that easy. It's sending it over to the printer. And if you look right behind me here, it's starting up, and uh, yeah, we're gonna print the last piece here. So now we've got one of the last pieces printing here, and one of the best things about the X1 Carbon is it has LiDAR, so that way I don't have to sit here and babysit this and constantly worry about it messing up. If there is an issue, it's gonna send a notification to my phone and tell me right away and pause the print. So how's it going? Huh? I'm used to hot glue. So it's going a lot faster than you would expect. But one thing that I will say, huh? Hot glue the plastic together? No. I said I'm not using hot glue. I'm used to using hot glue. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought you were hot glue the 3D printed plane together. No hot glue in the 3D oh, printed plane together. Man. I said I'm not. Oh, the dropping, all right? I said I'm not. Hot glue was the best. No. I'm going to use it. Hey, don't do what you're doing. All right, well, I'm used to using hot glue whenever I build planes and stuff like that. So using the CA, and uh, it's going a lot faster. It's Went together really quick. I had both wing halves done. I'm getting ready to heat. go ahead and join them here. So I got the little tab glued in, slam them together with the spar inside, and uh, the wings are pretty much done then. All I need is electronics, and then I think I'm on to the fuselage. So, 3D printed planes build twice as fast as anything else, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm still new to this, so it's still confusing for me. But other than that, it's fun. So I don't know if you guys noticed anything different about where I'm painting, but it's actually where my dad's old office was and we're turning it into a paint booth. So we got this cool little thing going on here where we're gonna eventually have like chicken wire on top of it so the plane's on. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my first coat of black on. I got everything else primed out in white. So it's looking pretty good and now it's time to get painted.
So everything came out of paint real nice. It's all cleaned up and everything. And I got the electronics all hooked up with the receiver now. I got the ESC going, prop going the right direction. Now it's time to make it super pretty and put some decals on it. So I went ahead and put a piece of blue tape right along the bottom. Give me about, uh, how big is that? Is that an inch? I put this piece of blue tape down for when I lay the spark name across the wing. I can have a consistently straight line to base everything off of rather than trying to brace up the leading edge or eyeball it. It gives me kind of a measurement to go off of and it's non-permanent when I'm done with it right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going on that and uh, let's see how this turns out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and charge up my batteries on our ISDT charger bank here. And uh, basically, Chad and I are gonna be pushing these as hard as we can. I have a four cell battery on our 2212 Budget B motors. These are only $20 motors and they have 1200 kV. Chad is gonna be pushing the limits with six cell. Now, if you guys wanna wonder how that works out for power, basically when we mention kV ratings, that is the RPM per volt that you're applying to the motor. Chad's six cell battery is about 22 volts. That means 22 times 1250 kV. Our four cell battery is about 16 volts, so that would be 1250 times 16. That's going to be the RPM difference for you when you're flying different cell batteries. Basically stepping up the voltage allows you to step up the power, but what you want to do is with every cell that you increase, you want to go down in prop size by one inch. This gives you a good opportunity to not bake your engine or your ESC. I'm going to go ahead and get these charged on our ISDT chargers, and we're going to be ready to fly. All right, so proud papa moment here. I'm holding the spark that my son Michael built here, and he did an incredible job from the paint job to the build. And Mike, this is your first build. Yeah, it's my first 3D printer build, and uh, it went together a lot easier than I thought. I was yeah. kind of intimidated at first, but everything went well. It all built real seamlessly, cleanly, and nicely, so. And you even painted that beautiful, too. Yeah, so uh, speaking of paint scheme, we have a little surprise about that. I didn't fully pick out this paint scheme. <laughs> yeah, we have an awesome team member named Chadwick here. He found out we were doing pylon races, Chadwick loves speed. We got a surprise to you because he built his own. <laughs> Hello. So Chadwick is part of our FDUS team. He's actually our builder and fabricator for a lot of the products and things that we're making that are made out of fiberglass that you may not see on this channel, but we're actually making right now. And we can't wait to share more of that story with you. So buddy, how was your build experience? Wonderful. I really have to thank my four month old for waking <laughs> me up through the night to change prints. We're kind of spoiled here. We have a lot of printers. Chad has what, two? Two. And when you found out about this, you got the file from us and you just literally went around the clock. You didn't sleep. Friday after work until I printed the last aileron part Monday morning before I came in. I love it. We was like, yeah, have the file. If you get it done, that's kind of cool. He walked in with this beautiful painted airplane and uh, you guys are kind of feeding off each other, huh? Yeah, so when I saw him walk in with that, I always thought like, People who race against each other have similar paint schemes, but they're different colors. So I took that in my own hands. I didn't have clear wing tips, so I painted mine white, but <laughs> it looks good and they contrast each other well. Now Chad's is PLA, ours is lightweight PLA here. We're gonna kind of put them through the test here. I think you're gonna have some more speed and to test out the speed, we're actually taking our FT Easy IDs. We have one of those with each of them. The cool thing about the Easy IDs is they're not only remote IDs, but they actually tie to your phone, give you some really cool features like find my plane, but also they record your flight data right onto the phone through a Bluetooth link which means we'll be able to kind of see what our top speeds was, what our elevations, our flight time, and we can keep that in a digital logbook all through our app. So if you guys want to check out our app, it's free to download for Android and also iPhone. And also check out the Easy ID. We have a huge sale on them right now. I think they're like 30 or 40 bucks off. So check that out on the website. It's definitely worth grabbing one, not only for compliance, but mostly for the fun and the way that you can record and document your flight. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go with me first. I have not Buddy. flown since last year. I'll just shake it out. So we're on ready board runway here, and it's an awesome long runway, but there's trees on both sides, but this is the way the wind's going, so we're gonna use it. So yes. this may not be ready board, but we're going off ready board runway. That's right. You got this, brother. They are, let me give a run up real quick here. How's it feel? Saucy? All right, right, left, up, down, are you ready? That's good. Oh my goodness. So just like typical eclipsing, everything is always is dialed in and balanced. Are you flying four-cell Chadwick? Yes, sir. That's respectable speed. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, I'll slow down and behave myself now. 
Looks like they fly pretty smooth. They fly great, smooth, yeah. The only thing bumping around right now is the wind. What did you think about that bamboo program slicer? Um, it's actually really nice. You know, uh, Clipson came up with uh, profiles for the bamboo printers now. And that's pretty much what we use is the bamboos. And it worked out great. I mean, it was, it was as simple as opening them up. The trays were there. All you had to do was click on the tray, hit print, make sure you had the right filament in the AMS. And, and you're good to go. Set. I like it. So Chadwick printed his completely out of uh, PLA, PLA plus I believe it is. And ours is uh, lightweight wings with PLA plus for the uh, full center fuselage stick. And little secret here, we have a wooden spar in ours because we ran out of carbon fiber and we didn't want to wait. So we put a wooden spar, just a dowel rod. Yeah, I don't recommend doing that. It seems to be holding up, but yep. you just never know when you're pushing G's and stuff. Yeah. Things can go wrong real quick. <laughs> So Chadwick, it looks like you with the PLA here have a smoother flight than me with the lightweight PLA. Uh, yeah, I don't seem to be getting bumped around by the turbulence as much. Yeah, you can slow down. It just, when, when you slow down, it just kind of bobbles a little bit more. It does. But it's not unstable. It just, just bounces a little bit more. Do you ever find flying these style airplanes, you just want to go fast? Yeah, I do. And I'm trying to be nice, you know, not be a jerk to Mike as he's trying to chase us. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in for a landing here. I'm gonna come around. You get a feeling like it's gonna be skipping down the runway quite a bit. It, you know what, it, out of a, lot of, uh, a lot of the ones I've flown, I feel like this one's gonna be very manageable. Let's see. You're right, she does still soar, Dave. There it is. There it is. <laughs> this is just Bank and Yank, basically a three channel, which is nice, because then you can take the separate channel. There it is, boop, 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 boop. Nice flying, Chadwick. This is Bank and Yankee. Basically have your elevator and your ailerons. And uh, Michael actually hooked this up to two separate channels and that gives us individual control. So you can do things like differential control on your aileron, which will be nice. It keeps that adverse yaw from happening, which I think would also help us a lot yeah, too. Probably. Yeah, So what do you say, you ready to go for speed? I've been ready. <laughs> All right, we got some bigger batteries. We're gonna pop in the easy IDs and see how fast it'll go. Yeah, let me just give a run up here. So we're gonna be testing this out with the four cell battery. This is basically the stock setup to see what the maximum uh, speed we can get is. The only downside is I got a big old draggy Instago on the very top. Let's see what All right, you ready? Three. Okay, so I went a little more nose heavy and I like it. We do have a storm rolling in, so the wind's getting worse, it's getting choppier. But uh, yeah, you're hitting. 50 mile an hour, 360. 67. 67, that's 70, not bad. 73. 73. <laughs> One more. Yeah, it looks like 73 was your highest so far. She's on rails when she's going fast. Dang. So 73 miles an hour? Yes, sir. All right. I think that's pretty darn good for a lightweight PLA airplane. Yeah, I think so too. All right, Chadwick, 73 is what you got to beat. I have no doubt in my mind you're going to have no problem with that. I might dive. And skippy, skippy. One of the things I love about 3D printed yeah. aircraft, especially when you get the quality of equipment is, like I said, it's and a, traditionally you buy a plane, you wait. Yeah. I literally got the file from you yep. and within Let's, an hour was... Oh, shoot. Rain's coming in. We got to get another airplane. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so the rain is here, but we don't care. We're gonna fly this thing in the rain. It, it should actually make it a little more slippery, right? Wherever. I'm just gonna go for it. Ready, set? Ready. Yep. Oh, I just saw water <laughs> fall we're, off. We're like, uh oh, and it's like, whoosh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <man. laughs> Whoa! That that was 90. Oh my God. <laughs> you can hear the rain clapping off the wings. Oh my gosh, how are you not folding the wings on that thing? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to test. It's a pylon well, plane, guys. We're doing pylon stuff. 92. Oh my God. Let's get a dive with the discharge. <laughs> Let's get a dive with discharge. This is terrifying. 
It's on rails, isn't it? Oh, 96. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place. All right, so my guess is, is with the right motor, you can easily get this thing over 100 miles an hour. This is just our little basic budget beam motor. I think prop tuning too. Yeah. Awesome work. It yeah, is still one piece. We've only got a five-pitch uh, five prop on it. Yeah. I can't believe you have a... <laughs> I want a yard sale of this thing like the second round. <laughs> All right. So, guys, when you build this from Eclipson, and by the way, use the word flight test to get 5% off the design. Oh, I didn't oh, like oh. something. <laughs> there Motor's it is. done. <laughs> she gone. At least you didn't lose your BEC. Look at this. He's going to bring it right back to the runway, isn't he? Oh, I love it. Yeah, Chad, Chadwick's an awesome pilot. Oh! <laughs> That was great. That fun. thing is <laughs> awesome, man. Dude, great I wanted 100 so bad. <laughs> oh, man. Well, again, this is just off of our little 20, I think it's a 1150 or 1200 kV 2212 motor. I didn't you can it. certainly step this up and definitely with the strength of the wings, easily hit over 100. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a pylon racer. I didn't think it was going to be, yeah. but Eclipse proved me wrong. There you go. Eclipse, great job on your design. If you like what you see, you can get these designs. They print incredibly easy. It builds incredibly easy. And it's not a hard pylon plane to fly. No, not at all. So, awesome. Make yeah. sure you use our coupon code down below. Also, leave in the comments below what you'd like to see 3D printed and tested out here at Flight Test on the collection. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Wow! Yeah, that motor's cooked. <laughs> you lost something. It, it got Was so it, it melded oh, yeah. the oh, ABS. Yeah, pulled it through. It got so hot it literally. I got it. a little uh, I don't know how to shut aggressive that off. at the end there. I didn't let out of it at all. Yeah.